Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, you should. Um, I have been traveling a lot lately. I have been very lucky and my boyfriend really kind of got me into this travel bug. I never really was into it before, but since meeting him, I have had the opportunity to travel to lots of different places. And so because of that and because of my OCD quality. No, I have anxiety, not so much OCD. So with that comes my need to organize and I love to be organized and I love everything to look pretty and have its place. So because of all that, I have put together this video, which is my top travel essentials. Now I've done like what's in my carry on, but I wanted to extend that a bit to just like my travel essentials, whether that's like in your check bag, your carry on, what have you, just everything I need that I think make traveling so much smoother and so much easier. And like I said, I have been traveling a lot, so I kind of have everything narrowed down. I've gotten like really good products like from different airports and everything. So yeah, everything I talk about in this video will be listed down below. Um, most of these things you can get on Amazon, which is so great. I actually um, have have an Amazon store so I will leave my Amazon store listed down below and you can just click that and all of these products I talk about will be available um, so yeah without further ado let's just get right into my top must-have travel essentials I wish you guys could see the pile next to me because it's crazy it's just crazy I don't even know where to begin in no particular order. This is my most favorite thing ever. I got this at the airport. It is a little bit more expensive than your average neck pillow, but I have chronic neck pain and I tend to pull my neck all the time like an old lady. Um, and I like to sleep on planes. I'm pretty much asleep on planes the entire time. I'm a window seat person because I just want to sleep. So I got this, which is great because it comes in this little pouch. It has a clip so you can clip it onto your bag or throw it in your bag depending how big your carry-on is and then all you have to do is open it up and it unravels you just gotta give it a minute to like expand itself to grow into the beautiful butterfly that it is so the reason why I like this is it actually comes up so high which looks awkward but it actually is the best because the ones that you could just get anywhere that are really cheap like with filled with beans I find like I still have to like go like this, like they don't really hold your neck, whereas like this holds your neck so much, like I'll show you, I can't, I can't do it with my hair down, difficult, there, there, and my earrings, horrible time to do this, so it attaches to the front and you can tighten it, but like, do you see how high it comes up, most like are only like there, and so this, I sleep like this, and your neck, or you could just like literally sleep like this and your neck is completely supported. You won't fall at all. It looks really awkward, but again, I just like sleep with a tiny angle right on this thing. You put it on your cheek. It is so good. It is the only way to like really get a good night's sleep for me on the plane. So I would recommend spending a little bit more money on one that actually supports your neck and still doesn't have you kind of moving all about. So I absolutely love this one and I take it everywhere with me that I travel. Just when I travel. I'm not like walking down the street with this. Okay, my next travel essential is a little clear container like this that is TSA approved. It says carry on approved. Like, I don't know if that's official, but it does say it. It's just a clear bag to contain all your liquids. I love this one because it like stands up on its own. You can clean it. It's got a nice sturdy zipper and I just love how sturdy it is. So it's not like all flimsy. It can really just like stick in your bag really nicely. So in here I put any liquids I want to bring, but you definitely need this so that you're not like scrambling to pull out any of your liquids. If they ask you, you have them all in here and you can easily pull it out of your bag during security. So in there, I typically carry wet ones. These are travel essential. You can get the travel pack. Um, this one had tw has 20 and I've been on a lot of trips with this. There's a lot of air locked in this. Hang on. There we go. So I like to bring travel wet ones because I read an article that planes are so dirty. They don't wash them. 
Then I also read an article that hotels are so dirty and ho hotel TV controllers are the grossest things in the world. So I bring these and I literally am that nerd who wipes down the plane, wipes down the tables, wipes down the windows and everything like that. So these are a must have for me. Even like not even to like disinfect, but like let's say you spill something on yourself, you can use these. Let's say your hands get sticky for some reason, you don't want to go up to the bathroom, you can use these. Like it's just there's so many different things that you can do with these, so I must always have these. Then I bring a travel little pack. This one's almost empty of makeup remover wipes. These are the Neutrogena ones. These are great. I love having these because again, let's say maybe I have a tiny bit of makeup on and then I have a really long flight. I'll take my makeup off on the flight or if I'm just feeling gross, I'll like wipe my face with these um, at the end before I exit the plane to kind of just like refresh and get all the gunk off my face. So I love having them and they're so thin and they really just like fit in here. My next travel essential is a little thing of tissues. So this is a little Kleenex thing that has like just 10 little Kleenexes in there. Like I said, you never know when you're gonna spill something, have a runny nose, just need a Kleenex what have you so it's good to have and these are so tiny and these things all fit in here so beautifully next is hand sanitizer goes without saying um again you never know maybe when you'll be able to get to like a bathroom to wash your hands if you're about to eat on the plane you can use this so i just love having a hand sanitizer i then also always have to have a hand cream and this is my favorite one and it's really really tiny to me this is a travel essential because the planes are so dry. I don't care if you're a male or a female. My boyfriend is always like, do you have any hand cream? Do you have any cream? Like, airplanes are so drying and so dehydrating for your skin. So you definitely have to bring a hand cream. And again, goes in here. Next essential. Next essential. Now, this is just for me, maybe. But I have to bring a mini bottle of MAC Fix Plus. Any kind of hydrating uh, spray will do. They have some by Evian, uh, Caudalie makes some. There's so many brands that just do like a hydrating, refreshing spray. And you just, oh, literally, I hate the feeling. It always happens after I like nap on the plane. If I'm like sleeping, I wake up, I'm like, my skin is dry, my mouth is dry, my eyes are dry. I hate that feeling, so I just spray this on my face. It smells good, it gets rid of the plain smell, and it just refreshes your skin and makes you feel hydrated. So this may seem like a princess product, but it is an essential for me. Okay, the next thing I wanna mention is from Amazon, and it is by this company called Travelon, and it is this kit of three pouches. So you get a large one, a medium, and a small one. So these are so, so great just for keeping organized. They're really, really affordable. They're on Amazon. I love that they're color coordinated. So typically in the big one, I put all of my chargers. So this is like my headphones, my chargers, my adapters, like that kind of thing. Everything goes in this one. And then in this one, I don't typically bring this in my carry-on. I do sometimes. I have it now. But this one is all my like medical supplies. I will say bring gravel. That is a travel essential 1000 times over for me. I always get car sick, seasick, plane sick, probably just walking down the street sick. I always feel nauseous. I'm very sensitive. So I need gravel. And this is the, um, the ginger one that's not drowsy. So I have that. I recommend always bringing bug bite. You never know where you're going to be with that. We don't need to go over that. I will sh leave down below my what's in my carry on to show you like exactly what I pack in these containers. But these bags are an essential. Next essential. My dad got me this so long ago and it is a suitcase scale. So looks like this you can get them on Amazon you can get them at the drugstore or wherever and basically you turn it on and you like lift up your suitcase with it like this and it weighs your suitcase it's pretty friggin accurate I've never had a problem being overweight if this says I'm fine I've never been like overweight at the airport so I recommend not only weighing your suitcase before you go but bringing it with you because you typically buy things on vacation and your suitcase weighs more on your flight back so again you just need to have this it's really small and compact and you just weigh your suitcase before you get to the airport so you know if you're gonna have a hard time or not. Must have. Next, I recommend a universal adapter. This comes in a little pouch. Obviously, if you're staying in your same country, that's fine. But um, anyways, this one is set up for uh, the European one. 
So that's just where we're going next. But you can get one that's universal that has everything. Um, obviously, don't forget this or you'll just have to buy it at the airport and it will cost a lot more money than it would on Amazon. So you definitely need a travel adapter and check where you're going or get a universal one that has every single plug you could ever need, which is just great peace of mind. <laughs> Next, my most favorite thing ever is this passport wallet. Um, I typically have a backpack or a purse, but I like to carry this in my hands. It's zipper, so everything's safe. You have your passport, and then you can put um, all your cards in here. It's like debit cards, credit cards. There's a zipper pouch for some cash money. I put all of my like bag tags in here in case your bag gets lost. You have everything together. You can put your boarding passes in here. You can put your phone right in there and then zip it all up and then you don't have to like continuously reach into your bag you have it all here you can have your like um customs documents in here anything you need i love this it comes in many different colors i obviously got the pink one because i love pink but some kind of passport holder is a necessity next i want to talk about packing cubes everyone in my family makes fun of me for these but they are actually a lifesaver and i finally bought more because i had a couple but then like there were still some loose things in my suitcase but now i bought enough that like Every single thing in my suitcase is in a packing cube and that might sound crazy, but it's so wonderful. It saves so much space and it's so glorious when you get to your destination and you don't necessarily want to unpack because you're like, I know in this cube it's all pants or in this one it's all dresses. So I have two kinds. I'll again, leave them in my Amazon store, but basically this is the largest one. You just put all of your clothes in here, zip it up, and then put it in your suitcase like this. It stays so organized, so neat and tidy, and they come in like so many different shapes and sizes. Like this is the biggest one. They have like little ones. You could put like your socks and underwear in this one or like bathing suits. I love this little guy because like what I actually do is like put a pair of like socks and underwear, maybe like a change of um, shirt or something and bring this in my carry-on. Or if you're going to a tropical destination, always pack your bathing suit in your carry-on just in case your luggage gets lost. But packing cubes are a must for me. I have so many. And then the other kind I have are these ones. I'll leave them listed down, down below as well. And these are compression cubes. So they have like a double zipper system and it just squishes all the air out of them. So like no matter how much you put, they kind of like do stay like this size, maybe just like a little bit bigger. So I love these as well. If you have like really bulky things like big sweaters or anything like that, it just squishes the air out and you can be so organized when you get there. Trust me, they work. Everyone on YouTube says they work and they do work. It's seen as believing though. You definitely have to try them and they're affordable to test out. So check out the ones I leave down below. I always like to bring a laundry bag. This I got... I think it Lou I think it came with my like Lululemon backpack, but any just kind of like drawstring bag or even like one of those packing cubes would work because like I just like to put my dirty socks and underwear in here or like anything else, but mostly just socks and underwear. Everything else is essentially probably not getting that dirty, but I just like to do that, keep it in a different part of my suitcase so it's all organized and separated and you're not like wondering what's clean or whatnot and just keeps the smell together and keeps it in that so I always bring a laundry bag headphones headphones are an essential I it kind of depends how long I'm going for I have these these are by beats um they're wireless and they're like really comfortable so they're not gonna like hurt your ears or anything like that but they obviously won't um uh, actually they will these do come with a cord to be able to plug them into the like airplane armchair to watch tv or anything like that so these are great. I do really want the, the Bose noise canceling ones because I hate the sound of airplanes and I like to just sleep. But these are pretty great at blocking out the sound. They're not as good as that. These are definitely more for like music and stuff. But I would highly recommend over the ear headphones because I tend like those ones really hurt my ears. But if that's what you prefer, that's what you prefer. Just make sure you bring some headphones. Next is some sort of iPad. Maybe this isn't essential for you, but this is for me. I download like all my Netflix shows on this. I was just on WestJet and they don't have TVs on the domestic flights. They only give you like the app. So you can watch the shows on your phone or if you have an iPad, you can watch on your iPad. Recommend getting a case that like stands up so you can watch your shows on the tray table, something like that. A Kobo, um, if you read a lot like me and you don't wanna like carry multiple books, um, usually the books I read are like this big too, I highly recommend getting a Kobo because you can just like get on the Wi-Fi, order a new book if you're bored of the old book and just keep moving on with your trip. 
Okay, next I recommend getting travel containers. These are from the dollar store. You can really find them anywhere. I highly recommend this because I am a beauty and skincare fanatic and I don't want to leave home without any of my products. So I put them in here because I can't bring any of those big bottles. I literally put everything in a little container. I'm not even lying. Like I've used, I use every single little one. I've even got like bronzing glow oil in this little one. So definitely little uh, bottles that you could decant everything into. This is body wash. This is toner. This is cleanser. Like you, you just need to get them and they're so affordable. Next, I highly recommend a scarf. Now, this one is my favorite. This one is from Lululemon, but also just like a regular big pashmina will work as well because you can wear it as a scarf while you're traveling through the airport. But then this one in particular from Lululemon actually unbuttons. So now you have a blanket, like you just have a full blanket. And this one is kind of like workout material. So if you spill anything on it, it's easy to just wash away. It's so soft and cozy and it'll just keep you warm. And I think it's just like, I don't know, a complete essential for me because I always am cold on planes and I don't want to like wear bulky sweaters. You can wear it as a scarf. You can roll it up. Watch this. You can use it as a pillow if you're on the window seat. Like there's just so many uses for this and it also will fold up really, really thin if you don't want to wear it in the airport and just put it in your carry-on. This is another essential for me. I love this thing. This is the Venus little, I think it's called a pocket razor. It is this tiny, tiny little razor. It is so cute. Gets the job done shaves everything it needs to shave, comes in this little container so it won't cut anything. It's got holes in it so it can breathe if it's wet and air out so it won't get all gross and dirty. Love this. It just keeps it nice and compact. Obviously get a mini toothbrush and a mini toothpaste. Bring this on the flight with you if you want to brush your teeth on a flight. This travel mini wet brush is my absolute favorite. I love this. It's so small, but it gets the job done. It brushes through dry hair, wet hair. It's so compact, but it works as well as the big one. So I will leave a list down below my Amazon store because they're super affordable and it's the best little travel brush. I love it. Gotta have travel size dry shampoo. Batiste comes in a sample size or like a travel size. So this is a travel essential because you don't wanna wash your hair and do your hair all the time on vacation, okay? So you need dry shampoo and a good scrunchie to put that hair up in a ponytail, if you know what I'm talking about. Scrunchies are a travel essential, especially on planes. They're nice and soft. They won't give you a headache. I love scrunchies. For me, a travel essential is a little camera. Now, I know a lot of people just pretty much use their phones all the time, but I just prefer like this video camera. I am always the person who is taking all the photos and all the videos of my friends. So for me, that's a travel essential, but that not be, might not be for everyone, but for me it is. Again, similar to that is a selfie stick. Ah, I think my dad got me this one or my boyfriend. This one comes with like a little controller. It's kind of crazy. But to be honest, my boyfriend and I used this so much when we were in Paris. Like we just were obsessed with it because you don't want to always ask someone to like take your photo. Maybe they'll steal your phone. I don't know. So you just like pop this on your phone and you're just like, cheese, cheese, ding, ding. Cute photos. We have them up on my walls in frames. So if you're traveling with someone, just be a cheesy tourist and get a selfie stick. Next thing I would recommend is a power bank for your cell phone or your electronics. You just charge this thing and then plug it into your phone. Now, I have a Google phone and it pretty much lasts charge for about like two days. So I'm not like an iPhone user who's charging it like every couple hours. So I don't use this that often. Um, my boyfriend has a Google phone either. It's more for like iPads and stuff for us because our phones are the best and last forever. But if you have an iPhone, definitely get a power bank. Last but not least, I like to get a little wallet for travel. Again, I don't like to bring all my cards. I don't like to bring all my wallet, like my huge big wallet. So a little wallet, like this is perfect, especially if you're transferring from carry-on to like little purse when you arrive. Just keep all your cards in one little compact location and that's the best way to deal with that. That was everything. I know this is a very long video, but I am very crazy when it comes to travel. And I like to be comfortable and I like to have all these things that make me feel good. I hope you guys took some good information from this video. Leave down below what I've missed. Any recommendations down below. If you're a flight attendant, let me know if I'm crazy. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.